This is day two of the How to Write a Nonfiction Book series. For day two, I want you to begin with the end in mind. You've already done some brainstorming on the topic and subtopics that you plan to write about. Now I want you to picture the person who is reading this book when it's all said and done. We're gonna do a very deep analysis of your ideal reader. You may have heard this ideal client avatar name mentioned in the marketing space. This is the same idea, but I want you to picture who your ideal reader is of this book. Now there may be multiple people who would benefit from reading your book, but for the purpose of this exercise, I want you to identify one person. Who is this person? Give them a name. What do they do for a living? What are their hobbies? Do they have kids? How much money do they make a year? What are they looking to learn and what is your book going to provide for them? I want you to give this person a name and an identity, even get a picture of them. Use a version of your past self as your ideal reader. Who is this person and what are you going to do to help them by virtue of writing this book? Having a very clear picture of who your ideal reader is not only helps you during the writing process, especially if you've written nothing yet, but it's also going to help you in the marketing phase. When it comes time to tell people about your book, you want to very clearly identify who the book is for so that you can speak correctly and directly to that person when you're marketing your book. So get out another sheet of paper and I want you to write down as many traits as possible about your ideal reader as you can think of. This may seem silly and like it's not relevant or it may seem like you have multiple people who could read your book so why would you just narrow it down to one person? But I promise you it's going to become easier when you are writing your book and you've picked a topic that you're going to expand on. You'll always be able to think if this topic is relevant for X ideal reader, whatever name you give them. Write as much as you can about your ideal reader. If you're doing this exercise in real time, I would love to know that you've done the activity. Post a comment below, let me know what your ideal reader's name is, a little bit about them, a short sentence, as much as you can write in the comments. And if you're following along, make sure that you click the plus so that you can get access to all of the days of the How to Write a Nonfiction Book series. I'll see you tomorrow for day three.